Hello guys, my name is Alexander Bogdan. I'm a general dentist here in Romania. I own my own clinic and for the past couple of weeks I was able to test a new app from Medit that I would like to introduce to you all. It's been a wildly requested feature to be able to build our own models without uh, the need of external software. And so Medit, with their ears wide open, have uh, helped us with this. And uh, here is a new beautiful piece of software uh, that will first help us build orthodontic models and simple models. And in time, we'll get single dies and we'll get uh, many, many more other features that we all will be able to uh, enjoy in the future. Today, we'll be doing a single crown prep and scan and uh, we'll follow with uh, building the actual model uh, first in the tool in the software itself and then uh, printing it on our printers and we'll see how that comes out so after finishing the prep and uh, letting medit link process the case we are just going to hit the model builder button up here on the right and the app is going to start right away and um, it's going to ask as you can see here to first determine what occlusal relationship to use for this case we just have one and what parts of uh, the scans we uh, we need to process so on the upper right i only have the maxillary the op, op arch and on the lower arch on the mandibular I have a pre-op model and an op model. This time, because I also want to check the crown, I am going to select the op model and assign it to the mandible, as you can see here. I am going to hit confirm and start building the model. To do so, we are just going to press on the upper left first icon of area designation. This is going to open the first tab and in the first tab you can see both models already selected in a double view and uh, also the area that model builder will use to generate the models is selected in um, in green we can expand or uh, lessen this area by dragging the slider here and it's going to go for both models at the same time if you are just want to use the slider for a single model you're going to select from the lower left icons. Let's see, we're just going to select the maxilla here. Yeah, let's say we have um, a little bit too much data on the vestibular, so I'm going to drag the, the slider a little bit. Okay, but I also want to include my whole palette. And um, to do so, we will be able to use the polyline tool or the brush tool. Let's use the brush tool on one side, like this. Okay, the area got selected and the polyline on the other, just to see how this works. Okay, you can also invert selection if you need to do so. Here we don't. Or deselect areas by clicking the deselection uh, icon. I'm going to use this brush to just straighten the lines a little bit. Like this. Everything's fine now. Let's check the mandible as well. Here I would like to add a little bit more of the model. Let's just drag the slider and see how this comes in. It's good. I like what I see. And I can stick to this. You just have to remember that, uh, let's say for the mandibular, the lowest point selected is going to be the point where the base of the model starts to be generated so if you have a big area selected somewhere that uh, is going much lower or much higher in case of the maxilla uh, than the other selected data the base will not be able to go uh, near the teeth but just start from that first area there that's selected 
let's click next and go to the next step okay as you can see here we have the occlusal plane and it is used for the model builder up to generate uh, the height of the bases and they are uh, identical from the maxilla and the mandible and calculated in relationship to this plane so it's not very important to set it perfect but it will take into consideration how much base you build uh, regarding to a mandibular and maxilla here we are going to be able to select uh, the positioning to this plane with three or four points i'm going to like to select uh, to uh, click on the four points i think it's better in this case let's just add the points Okay, we do this and the model comes in nice. I'm going to just adjust it a little bit, not too much because it's already fine. If I like to check the interrelationship with, between occlusal plane and both models or just the lower, I can select it or deselect it from the left side. Let's just see from the lingual how it came in. Uh, what I want to do with uh, with this app, it's good enough. Okay. If you don't like what you see, however, you can just detach the model. This looks very simple. Just a press of a button from here. And but I'm going to undo this. I just want to show this. Okay. Plane is set. Let's just go to the next step. In this next step, we'll uh, select the dimension of uh, the bases for the models and the, the shape of these bases. We have three possibilities for shapes, and they are orthodontic models for the, for the moment. We have uh, a plate model and a plateless model. Uh, plateless model as you can see here just follows just follows uh, this, uh, the form of the maxilla and the mandibular we can pre-visualize how it looks so here you can see a uh, solid basis let's go to the plate model and generate it you can extend or reduce the height as you can see here by dragging the arrows let's generate one for this as well okay, nice outcome and let's see the orthodontic model okay after doing this because it's going to print a lot of material if you leave this selection like this medit also added uh, hollow models and they uh, can be selected from uh, down here by pressing the button and um, hollow models come with uh, walls and you can select the thickness of the wall from 2 to 4 millimeters as you can see here you're going to see uh, the thickness of the wall being modified in real time like this you can pre-visualize it to see what you're talking about Okay, I generally do them at 2.5, I find this is more than enough for me, they, stir, they are sturdy enough, but also don't consume a lot of material, let's just generate them one more time. Okay, so, net, so now that the bases are created, let's just jump to the next step, and this is the attachment step. Normally. It generates three attachments. If you um, see them blue, this means they are uh, they are attached to the model or will be able to be attached to the model by the app without no problems. But if one of them or several come in orange, this means they are not in the right position and you'll have to drag them along to find them a better spot. Let's see how we do this. We just drag them and place them where we need them to be. I generally like using four attachments, not three. So to do so, I'm going to drag this attachment a little bit to the left and 
find it a better position. And now I'm going to orient models like this and add a new attachment. Uh, it came out in the wrong position, but I'm going to drag it where it needs to be. Okay. Now that I have four attachments, I just have to mention that from uh, this slider here, you can generate them to be thicker and you can go with this thick, uh, thickness to 20 millimeters. That's much too much too much. I use them with five millimeters or six. Increments are 0.1, as you can see. You can just dial in the number to not lose so much time and figure around. Let's put it six. Okay. Just got modified, and um, if one of them is not to our liking, we just can just click it and delete it by pressing the delete button, as you can see here. I am going to add it back. Okay. Now that I have it here, I'm going to proceed to the next step. This is the label step. You can see the labels are auto-generated with the name of the case and the date. Uh, they can came in orange, this means they are not going to be able to be attached to the bases, so we are going to find them a new location. And now that we did, we see that they change color. On the other part of the model, I'm just going to add some more text to show you how it's done and that we can. Let's say mandible. And we're going to click the base. Let's see. Oh, it just uh, right. It's uh, sorry, guys. Uh, it is draggable to wherever you need it to be put in. And uh, you also can modify the text size of the text like this by dragging the slider and the depth. The depth. As you can see, can come upper or lower, more extruded or not. Let's just leave it to one millimeter. It's good enough like this. We're going to add a new text and say test, for example. Let's see where it is. And you can drag it to the upper model. As you can see, where when it goes to the maxilla, it gets flipped. So it will uh, stay in a perfect relationship with the base. Okay, we can also delete text by pressing the delete button. Okay. Now that we've played with this function as well, uh, we have everything we need, and uh, by pressing the next button, we're going to tell the program to integrate all the pieces together, the model base, uh, the attachment, and the text as well. Let's just do that. And now, the merging of the model begins. Text is going in first, and now the attachments as well. Be attentive to the attachments, because if you drag them too much outside, you're going to have very big models that are difficult to print on smaller printers, but you'll experiment with this with time. Now we will save. The last part is going to um, give us the possibility to save the model with a name. And now everything is going to get in the Medit link up. And uh, this part of the program is auto-saved and closed automatically. And here you can see the model. Let's just deselect the scans. And here it is. Our final work. What I can tell you is uh, that in the future we'll have uh, many more functions. So for sure we're going to be able to teach Jinjiva and uh, to separate gingiva to do model uh, models for implants and uh, 
probably any other requests that have meaning we are going to uh, be able to integrate in this nice application that uh, Medit is building for us. Okay guys, have a nice day, I hope this video helped you and we'll hear each other the next time.